Rochelle, we have talked about everything from educational to recreational reading, but I know that you still have some other things to share with us. So we're excited to learn. Yes, even with the best uh, basic and advanced skills, you are not going to find everything you or your child needs in the Louis database. So what can we do if we still can't find that one particular book we're looking for or that resource? If you cannot find a braille or large print version of a book, um, this indicates that none of the other 50 agencies listing in the Louis um, database have produced an accessible version of this title. So I want to talk about some other resources that may be of help in this case. Uh, one resource for finding books would be um, Bookshare. Bookshare allows students to read in Braille in large print, listen to audiobooks, follow along with an audiobook um, by highlighting the words, or read ebooks in different formats. Bookshare offers individual student memberships and school memberships. So you should first check with your child's school to see if they are a member organization. If they are, then your child may already have an account. What would I do if my child does not have an account through their school? You go to this link right here is Bookshare for me. You just simply click it. And on the side, it says who qualifies and you click that. And you can um, look at what the qualifications are and then you can sign up to join if you meet those qualifications. And usually if your child qualifies for Bookshare and they live in the U.S., um, then he or she can receive the services for free. Another great resource I want to touch on is the National Library Service, NLS at the Library of Congress. NLS provides free library services for the blind, visually impaired, or disabled. NLS circulates books and magazines in digital braille or audio format that are downloadable to a personal device are delivered by mail free of charge. To enroll in NLS, you can request an application online. Call 1-888-NLS-READ, that's R-E-A-D, to find your local library. Or you can go to the Find the Local Library link, which is uh, at the bottom of your page on the NLS uh, website. You just simply click the link, find your library. And you scroll down and you find your state, say Connecticut. You click on Connecticut and it will tell you where your library is um, located, who the librarian is, and it will give you um, contact information on how you can uh, get in touch with um, your library or, uh, or your, li your librarian. Once enrolled, you can begin reason you can begin reading using BARD or the BARD mobile app. What is BARD? BARD stands for Braille and Audio Reading Download Service. It is used like your local library app to download ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines from NLS. Rochelle, you have gone through a slew of resources and a whole lot of troubleshooting. And I'm still going to ask that question what happens if you still cannot find what you are looking for? If you still cannot, find what you are looking for. There's one final option that is available uh, is to find a person who can create an accessible book for you, for your um, child's school district. Um, APH has created an online directory that lists accessible media producers for HAR called the Accessible Media Producers Directory or AMP. Um, this directory assists users in finding a person or company that can produce an accessible item for you, such as Braille or large print book. You can get to AMP from the Louis homepage. Um, you simply just go to the top and you click on search AMP. 
and it will take you to the AMP database. For the basic search, you can type in the name of an agency, format, or language. If I do a basic search for Braille, that gives me 171 results. As with Louis, you can narrow your results down by using the left-hand side. Uh, of your page. Um, the categories are different. Well, the filters are different. Um, you have format, braille capabilities, state and territory, languages. Um, I am going to narrow this down by my state, which is Kentucky. And that gives me 11 results. And you can scroll down and when you click on the expand record um, button, you can see what available formats are available, languages, uh, what kind of certifications the transcriber has, uh, has and um, many other additional fields describing the qualifications of the creator or producer. All this information will make sense to your child's school or TBI. So if you need to hire a producer, make sure they are involved in the process. And we have the print and the email buttons at the bottom if you want to forward uh, this on to your um, child's teacher or TBI. Um, the advanced search function in app works the same way as it did in Louis. The fields are different than the ones in Louis, but the functions are the same. So the first thing you wanna do is clear your search to clear all your filters. And you're gonna hit on the advanced button underneath your main search screen. And um, we wanna just take a look at the different fields. Um, and you have format, agency, um, contact, um, textile graphics, proofreading language, certifications and compatible, uh, for, um, compatible software. So um, I'm going to keep um, the format field and I'm just going to type in large print. I'm going to hit add a row and I'm going to add tiger. And I'm going to choose textile graphics in the field. And I'm going to hit on the search button. Uh, when you do an advanced search, you have you can't just hit enter. You have to hit the search button because you're searching multiple fields. So I hit the search button. Um, and I get 13 results from this pet from this search. From this list, you could choose a producer who will be right for you for your project. So you just simply hit the expand button to find out um, the information that you need to choose one. When you are looking to hire an accessible media producer as with any independent contractor, please use your due diligence to, um, in checking your references, asking questions and researching the company. I hope these series of videos have empowered you to become more involved in working with your child's teachers and TVIs to discover new ways to advocate and find helpful resources for your child. Michelle, I have no doubt that this, I mean, again, you have found a way for parents and families to find exactly what they need one way or another. So thank you so much for your time and your knowledge on this video series. You're welcome. And also, I just wanted to add that for any reason, if you need to contact us, you can just simply click on the Ask the Librarian button at the top of the page. And there's a form that you um, can fill out or you can scroll to the bottom and it has our phone number, email address, and the times that we can be reached, which is 8 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Um, of course, we can be reached after that if you decide to email us or you can submit the Ask the Librarian form at any time. Thank you so much. This has been amazing.